All right, what's up, Ignite Seattle? So my name is Nate Beck, and by, um, this talk is basically about a research project I did called Seeker. Um, by day, I'm actually a software consultant. I run my own company called Zaw Labs. Uh, a few months ago, I was actually doing a project for Kodak Gallery, creating this uh, desktop uploader. And as you can see on the left side, um, one of the requirements we had was to show a preview of the photo before the person uploaded it. Now this ended up a problem because uh, in the industry they call them fat boys, but basically the high res image, if you try to load 400 of those at the same time to downsample into a thumbnail, it doesn't work because you run out of RAM and things like that. And so basically I found out that inside of the EXIF data, uh, which is basically a header that's hidden inside the data of a photo, at the very top it has a pre-rendered thumbnail. So in my research, on EXIF data for my job, I actually found out that there's a lot of really interesting stuff inside of this EXIF data, such as the data it was taken or the device it was used to capture on. And for example, this picture of Britney Spears actually said that they used Adobe Photoshop in the EXIF data. <laughs> so one of the other interesting things that EXIF, the EXIF specification has is geolocation data or geotagging as people call it. Now this gets really interesting because as you and your friends kind of go out and party and everybody has a mobile phone now. Everyone goes and takes pictures of their friends and things like that. And the next thing you do is you click the share button and you upload it to Twitter or you upload it to Facebook or any of those places. This got me kind of intrigued and interested. And so basically what I did is I used a whole bunch of the Twitter, um, Twitter photo uh, APIs and was looking through them and seeing all the stuff and I saw that they had like popular uh, popular people. So a bunch of celebrities. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder. So I basically wrote a script and for my nerds out there it was written in Ruby. Um, and basically I grabbed 147 celebrity Twitter handles from WeFollow and I ran a script to download all of their images from these services. The interesting thing about it is out of the 147, 22 did not have photos. Of the remaining, 54 of them had GPS encoded photos out on Twitter. Ashley Tisdale, um, Jamie Oliver, Kevin Rose. The worst offender by far was Adam Savage. 296 photos were GPS encoded. Now, it kind of gets confusing for the consumer because all of his photos were out on TwitPic. And when you're on TwitPic, you actually can look at it and it says, I don't have any photos that have location data. But it's not true because the location data is in the photo itself. And so Adam had a really interesting, um, and this kind of has been covered by a lot of people, but he had a f he posted of his truck. This was geo-encoded and it was taken outside his house. And now he's telling us he's off to work. So now we know where he lives, what his car looks like, and you know that he's going to be gone for a few hours. So as we're robbing the joint, we know to look out for that car. But Adam Savage w takes the cake for a number of photos that I found. But Tom Hanks had a whopping 91% of his photos were GPS encoded. And I kind of had this idea that if on Castaway, you know, <laughs> oh, basically what I was going to do here is basically make the connection that if Tom Hanks was able to tweet, we would never get to meet Wilson, which would be a very, very large tragedy. <laughs> right? Wilson! Yeah. Never would have happened. So moving forward back to Tom Hanks, um, this is an application that I wrote just to kind of visualize this. Here's a photo that was Tom Tanks tweeted, there's the GPS location as they're filming for one of his new movies, and that's me virtually standing on the corner on Google Maps. <laughs> and it's really interesting because it's not just Twitter that you use, Facebook, Craigslist, all these other places that you're putting photos that you're potentially putting out geocoded data. Facebook, for example, actually scrapes the EXIF before they make it public for other people. However, they use that data for marketing and so to market ads and things like that. So you're telling them what device you have. These are the ways to turn them off on the different devices. You can find it online. But yeah, they use it to sell better ads and increase your experience. So if you're still really paranoid, this is a website. It's really helpful. You can actually upload a URL you can, uh, or, or point to a URL and upload an image, and it'll dump all the EXIF data in a nice, really friendly format. So you can see that. But in conclusion, I really think that um, Geotagging is not a bad thing, but us as consumers and celebrities need to know that 
GPS data, what, what are you sending out of your phone? And that's really kind of the big question. So thank you.